Oh, lovely to see you again, and congratulations. We chatted to Warney a couple of moments ago uh, about the new book. It is on headlines all over the place. It's destined to be a bestseller. Uh, talk us through the finished product and uh, what we can expect from this book on Mr. Warn. Well, it's very much Warney's story um, told in his language. The idea really was a sort of stream of consciousness um, from the great man, but very much in his voice. I didn't, I didn't want to write my own sentences. I wanted to hear his and put them on pa paper. And, and, and so in theory, at least, as you read, you can feel him around you. That's, that's the idea. He has an unusual energy. He has very strong points of view. Um, he has a very um, engaging way of speaking. And if you can get that over on print, I think it probably helps with the idea of how he tells his own story. Uh, it's not especially sensational. I mean, there are some cracking moments where perhaps he finds himself in situations others might not. But in general, um, you know, he's a, he's a gifted sportsman and uh, a wild-eyed boy who made the best of his talent and became a global superstar because of it. And that's um, the story that, you know, we're trying to get over in that book. It was something I wanted to do. The publishers were a bit iffy about it. Um, we needed to, or I needed to show the first few chapters, probably the first chapter, which is about the development of his family through um, its immigrant base. Um, his mother came out of uh, Poland and Germany, for example, um, found a boat with her parents um, out of Rome and made their way across the world almost by default. They were trying to get to America and ended up in Australia. And that sort of convinced them. Hear him tell that story in his own voice convinced them. Tonight.